As a kid growing up in International Falls, Minnesota, I remember shooting so many hockey pucks. And every shot that I, that I made, I said a prayer and I said, please Lord, if, uh, if I make this, can you please allow me to sign one NHL contract, just one NHL contract. And I prayed all the time and, and I shot a lot of pucks and, and I said that all the time. And at the end of the career or whatever I had, I look back on that and uh, the good Lord gave me one, only one NHL contract. And, uh, you know, I say that, heck, I should have prayed for a thousand games, but I only prayed for one contract and, then, and that's what I was given. When I, when I came back here to Bidette, Minnesota, about 14 years ago, I had another prayer. And that prayer was to become the greatest musky fisherman in the world. The good Lord put me on Oak Island where I'm catching muskies off the dock. Gave me the opportunity to uh, make, some, make some lures which I don't know how it happened, but it just happened. And uh, so one of my great friends asked me all the time, you know, was I upset that the hockey ended early? And I tell her, hey, God made me a hockey player so one day I could become a muskie fisherman. One of my good friends, uh, I played college hockey with him. He was a captain of our college hockey team and he didn't get an opportunity. I hadn't seen him in 20 years, but we were still great friends. And he came up here and, and I got to see him for a day and a half. And he asked me, what do you do on your day off? And I said, I go musky fishing. And uh, that is to me what it's all about. We've been put here on Oak Island and probably one of the greatest muskie fisheries on the face of the earth, arguably. I know there's a lot of people out there, but uh, I get to catch a couple off the dock every once in a while. May of May 2012, a great friend of mine asked me if I wanted to take a ride across the lake to look at a cabin on Oak Island. I said, why do you need me to take a look at a cabin with you on Oak Island? He said, come on, JP, it'll be fun. And that was 12 years ago. Um, gave me an opportunity to, to get this, this cabin and we got this cabin. Um, and this gentleman that helped me is a great individual and his name is Scott Olmstead, AKA Big Thumb. And we've honored that man by calling our cabin the Big Thumb. So a lot of people come up here to, to fish out of the Big Thumb and stay with us. And you know, I haven't talked about this at all and I need to because to allow this to happen up here is, is my wife. And she, uh, she is a very important person and, and without Jody, none of this would be possible. So I need to get that in there right now. But uh, this, this place and this fishing and, and uh, musky fishing is, is the world. And uh, a lot of my great friends have become musky fishermen up here. They, they are looking forward to catching their next, their next muskie, and they were walleye anglers for their entire lives. Um, it's an addicting thing. Muskie fishing is uh, very personable, and I mean that as far as they come to the boat. There it is. That's a decent fish right there. Yep. There's one. Holy. Look at that sucker. There's one. Holy, that's a big one right there. 
my good friend from British Columbia who was a trout fisherman couldn't believe that that fish followed that lure all the way to the boat, but they Here's do. One. They want to come and hang out with you sometimes. Sometimes they're timid, sometimes they're, right underneath they're hungry, sometimes they're curious, but uh, we just want to see them. You know, a lot of my fishing has been walleye fishing. Uh, over the 10 years, it's it has been a big portion of paying the oh. bills up here. Oh my God, did you just see him? He just freaking just, he just freaking missed that thing. But uh, lately, the past few years, I've been given the opportunity to take a lot of people musky fishing and you can't help but learn a little bit out here and you can't help but get lucky every once in a while and you can't help but to suck it up every once in a while. So it's, uh, it's a great place to do it, but we get an opportunity to do it each and every day up here. And I would love to take a lot of people musky fishing. Well, about a year ago, I started to think about fishing my own baits. I mean, I've talked about it for years and I got to have the opportunity to uh, fish, with, fish with a lure that was actually designed up on Lake of the Woods called the Danny Bait and uh, made by a, a guide up here, Danny Gibbons, legend up on Lake of the Woods, musky fishing legend on Lake of the Woods. And I had had the opportunity to fish for these things, um, but I had lost a few over the years and they don't make any more Danny baits. So I spent some time in the shop and did some, did some work and carving some lures and painting them and, and uh, Jody said it was a great opportunity for me to get off the get off the lake, but uh, it was an awesome experience because I just took my knowledge. I tried to I tried to make it each one individual, and each one is individual, and I can't recreate it. Unfortunately, I draw it with a pencil and jigsaw it out and sand it up, and each one has its own individual feel. I try to make them as uniform as possible because they've got a good movement. And um, when I originally made the first one, I know that you're gonna see some, some of the lips on there. It looks like they're used for the top water, but uh, I didn't have anything to secure the first one that I made, so I had an extra lip and I, I used it for a, for a helmet and I actually pounded down the, pounded down the sides on it and you sit and it looked like a hockey helmet. So I thought that was great. And then the next one that I made, I actually started to pound it down and I said, well, maybe I'll try it flipped up. And it gave it a little bit more action. And so um, that's, where, that's where that came from in Sportsman's Lodge pool. And, and uh, then I just started to create them. They're pretty special lures to me. Uh, this one right here, <clears throat> My college roommate, one of my college roommates, uh, made his first visit to Lake of the Woods, and so I painted this lure to look like our Ferris State colors, and uh, and he actually caught caught a muskie on this sucker, the first one. So this was the first one ever made that that uh, of mine that caught a lure, or caught a caught a muskie and it happened to be one of my best friends. Um, so that was pretty important to me and special. <laughs> you know, and he just like, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, oh, you crushed it, crushed it. Nice muskie, nice muskie. Nice musky. Oh, he's barely freaking got it too. Barely got it. Not a giant, but. Start to finish, love it. Beautiful little, beautiful little fish here. Oh man, beauty. We uh, we just slid off, slid out of the bay, came to the point, 
and she crushed it on the dead rise right at the side of the boat scared the crap right out of me but that's what they do we're gonna get her back in right now a good release and get her back nice thick fish thick musky oh beauty beauty okay here we go bye bye thank you pow yeah that's what it's all about right there coming out here we just literally made a bait less than 24 hours ago this is the cool thing about living up here we have to you know everybody asks me well how do you make it well we got a walleye fish to make our living but we're all crazy musky fishermen out here and this is what we love to do on our days off and and this is the bite that i chase each and every time that i'm out here all right great soldier one day down one day i love it it doesn't happen like that all the time i've thrown a couple of them but obviously there's something good with that one right there well my mom always tells me that all my success has come with a great sacrifice of very many people and that is that is the truth and uh, with that said there's a lot of people that have given me the opportunity to be up here and sacrificed and got me here um, you know and my dad when uh, when he left he, he and when I mean when he left when he left this earth he said you know whatever you do don't do it to make somebody else happy he said go do what makes you happy and then the people around you will be happy so if i can leave you with one thing it's be happy and do what do what you love to do and be passionate about it and uh, i thank the people that have given this humble chump the opportunity to live on oak island and uh, chase muskies I absolutely love it. This is the, the hockey player's dream, and God did make me a hockey player, so one day I could become a muskie fisherman.